you know, there's some, we talked about China a little bit and, you know, some theoretical ways they might be investing in these deeper technologies. But, you know, I, I've spoken with people that are intimately involved in deep technology at the National Science Foundations and others. And what brought them into this conversation and realized that we were falling behind on these capabilities because they attended an international consortium uh, with, uh, believe it or not, there were several members of, of from China there. And they very specifically were asking for collaboration in some of these very deep technologies. So, you know, we talked about how, uh, you know, gravity manipulation, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of went dark for a while. Well, they, they call it something slightly different now, and it's something that China and others are actively researching. They call it extended electrodynamics. Same thing with cold. Well, what is the difference between saying gravity and extended electrodynamics? Yeah, so electro uh, extended electrodynamics. Electrodynamics essentially is a series of equations that we utilize to understand the electromagnetic spectrum. But there's like a large portion of those equations that we kind of just throw out because we don't utilize them in our, our normal engineering and scientific work. And so they're, they're there, they're part of the equation, but we really don't know how to use them yet. And people are starting to think that by integrating a full, the full understanding of electrodynamics to extended electrodynamics, that there are gravitational effects that pop out that we can utilize for technology. Whoa. And they're actively researching that and actively asking for collaboration on that from China.